Praise the Lord, everybody listening, listening back. Welcome to the Black Ops Cold War beta. That was a totally normal intro. Praise the Lord, everybody listening back. <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is my first official video on the Black Ops Cold War beta, and I just want to show this feature before we dive into any gameplay. Everyone was tweeting me when this came out. If you go to the graphics settings, there is a field of view slider on console. This is officially going to be the first Call of Duty game to have a field of view slider on console. I've been asking for this ever since Call of Duty World War II, and we finally got it. If I'm not mistaken, the game starts you off at 80 by default. I typically play at 90, but in this video, we're going to try out different things. We could try playing Black Ops Cold War at 60 field of view and 120. What could possibly go wrong? Other than everything, my eyes are going to hate me after this. So yeah, let's play the beta at 60 field of view and try not to vomit. So far in the beta, we have quick play and they also have the option for hardcore. I'm not sure if we'll be able to play that in the beta. So far, I'm pretty sure that's just being teased. They also have the combined arms domination mode from the alpha. But that's the 16 to 24 player stuff. They don't have the 40 player mode quite yet. I'm pretty sure that's going to be released later on. For now, we're just going to do quick play. All right, we got the new map cartel. I don't know how this is going to go. Before recording this video, I was streaming the Black Ops Cold War beta on YouTube for a couple hours. It was pretty awesome. At least it wasn't until the skill-based matchmaking kicked in. But it was a pretty fun stream. Thanks to everyone who was able to make and hang out. We had a good time. Eh, this is 60 field of view. I feel so slow. Oh my god, look at that. Dude, how can anyone play at 60? What is that? Oh my god, that's gross. I can't f***ing see what's going on. It is actually so crazy how much the field of view makes a difference in your gameplay. I feel like I'm sprinting like a f***ing snail right now. Now, the funny thing is playing at a lower field of view actually loads less in the game, which means you should have a more stable frame rate. But who gives a fuck about the frame rate if you're moving at negative two miles per hour? I don't know if I could play the whole match like this. This is just pure pain and suffering. Okay. Hi, how are you? Look at that. Uh, uh, what? The best play was the dude camping in the tower. Nice. What's really weird about playing this game now at 60 field of view is that this kind of feels like Modern Warfare on console by default. I'm not exactly sure what the default field of view is for Modern Warfare on console, but I mean, it seems similar to 60. But yeah, as far as it goes for other changes coming from the alpha to the beta, there's a lot that changed as far as it goes for movement and weapon balance. Unfortunately, there were no changes to the kill feed at all. So as far as it goes for getting quad feeds, I am 10,000% dying inside right now because of that. As far as I know, there's no plans to change the kill feed in this game. It's upsetting stuff, you know, I'm going to be doing my best to try to hit clips and stuff, but yeah, if you're wondering how it's going, it is not going. It is quite the opposite. Trying to hit clips is never started. This game has some pretty sick skill based matchmaking though. I got quad feeded by a kill streak. How many fucking times is that artillery going to quad feed me? It happened on stream. I'm already triggered. I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I want to be optimistic about Black Ops Cold War. We're just in a beta so far. We haven't even played the full game yet, so I'm not going to be that judgmental about it, but your boy is definitely worried so far. I was even kind of saying this on stream. I get the feeling that this game is kind of like a mix between Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. And if I had to choose between the two, I would like the game to be more like Modern Warfare and less like Black Ops 4. I don't want this game to feel as stiff as it currently feels. I don't want the chance of clips to be impossible. I like the direction that Modern Warfare was taking. It just feels like with Black Ops Cold War, at least in the alpha and beta so far, we're getting a Black Ops 4 game that has some Modern Warfare features, including strong skill-based matchmaking. And I can already tell early on that that's gonna be a problem for the community because it's just like exosuits, you know? The thing that was really annoying about exosuits and exo jumps is the fact that the community complained about it during advanced warfare. But what do we get with Black Ops 3? More exosuits. And what do we get after that? Infinite Warfare! So yeah, this whole skill-based matchmaking thing, I hope they can figure it out. For an alpha and beta build of this game so far, it's looking pretty strong. It doesn't look like they're pulling back anytime soon. And I feel like that could definitely hurt the long-term replay value for this game. If you're wondering why I was laughing, it's because I couldn't say that phrase like a million times. And I feel like that could definitely hurt the long-term- Uh, words. <laughs> oh my god. In the corner. What is it, <laughs> And it didn't kill him! Don't get mad at me if I'm doing bad. I'm playing at 60 field of view. We're going to 120 next to balance it out. Another thing that's pretty different about the beta coming from the alpha is that you don't get all of the weapons and the attachments unlocked by default. You have to level up, you have to unlock the weapons, and you have to unlock all of their attachments. So yeah, guys, this beta is actually pretty fucking brutal so far. People are gonna be sweating so hard just to keep up in this beta. It's insane. All right, we're leaving that lob. Let's crank it up to 120. Woo! All right, let's find another game. What's also pretty cool is when you're looking at weapon stats, you can now click the right trigger to get all of this useless information you're not gonna give a fuck about. I mean, I'm not gonna care. I'm, I'm not like some super in-depth stats channel. I'm sure it will be very helpful for them. I'm sure it's helpful for the developers too. I'm just joking. 120 field of view Miami. Let's go! Okay, there we go. 120 field of view. Look at that. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. This is what I've been begging for. I think you can probably notice a little bit of a frame rate drop here and there, depending on what's going on in the game. But look at that. We have 120 field of view. I can see my feet. I'm jumping. I'm ready to hit a dang 120 field of view trick shot. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got a hit marker. Oh, I got him! Two shots on the bouncy board? I totally haven't been standing around for two minutes waiting for that to happen. We're going for a no-scope next. Let's go. Oh, they're coming. Oh, no! 
I gotta see this. I look so stupid. <laughs> All right, now we can seriously play. 120 field of view makes you feel like you're going super fast. It's honestly really weird. I don't like either of the extremes. 60 and 120, they just both feel gross. I mean, if you want to play at 120, go for it. No one's going to stop you. But right after this, I'm going right back to 90. That's a miss. Okay, uh, yeah, those are all misses. There's a kill. Wow! I don't know why 120 field of view on this game feels so weird. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Schultz crispy. Oh, no. Dang! There we go. Let's get his gun. Going. I don't even know where the guy was. I just started spraying at random trucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, 120 field of view looks really cool. I just don't think it's the best thing to play at. It kind of messes with your depth perception a lot. I mean, it's still really cool though. So another thing that's going on with the Cold War beta is a lot of people were wondering if sniping was ruined. I was using the Pellington sniper. That thing with its regular scope is okay. But look what they did to the Tundra with this ACOG scope. Like, what is that ADS? It is so gross. It has this really slow, like, two-step ADS system. The gun itself is still really good. But this scope is the most putrid shit I've ever seen. Weirdly enough, I would still recommend using this class just because this sniper on its own is so good. But if you really want to enjoy this sniper, you're going to have to get to the level to unlock it and then start getting attachments, which is going to be painfully slow. Come on, let's get an AK-74 you feed. Perfect. Oh my god, was that anything? Was it a feed? Did I get a split quad feed? I have no idea. All I know is that the AK-74 U is really good. Look how gross that is. What even is that? For this default class, I just wish they didn't put a scope on it, man. But yeah, even though there's some things that are kind of questionable about the beta, I am enjoying it. I'm definitely gonna be giving Black Ops Cold War a fair chance this year. I just hope that they can tweak some of these things. I think I got play. The almost quad feed. Oh my God. I mean, that was like, they weren't really paying attention, but I'll take it. Just why can't the kill feed stay a little bit longer, man? It would just be so nice. But yeah, now we're going to go back to 90 field of view, which is what I regularly play at. If I'm doing Modern Warfare on PC, I put it to 90 field of view. It's a lot more reasonable. It's a pretty good in-between, in my opinion. To kind of follow up what I was saying earlier, I just feel like this game is going to be a lot like Black Ops 4 in the sense that it's going to be a game that has potential, but it's all up to how Treyarch handles the feedback. I know for a fact there's going to be things that this community wants changes, and they have to try to be more receptive to it. Oof, clat. Oh shit, come on more. And it's gone. Just like that, my hopes and dreams kill. How can I get a clat just like that? Perfect start to a clip. And then there's no one. Like that's the thing that's so difficult is if you want a quad feed, they all four have to be next to each other. How? What the fuck? I don't even know how I didn't get that. The crazy thing is that it feels like it's nearly impossible to hit feeds in like regular game modes like kill confirmed to TDM. I'm not sure if it's just because the maps are too small. Oh my god, wait, hold up. And I know that to a degree this has to do with the size of the maps as well because some of these maps are just too big for a 6v6. Same problem as Modern Warfare, man. But the difference though is that Modern Warfare's kill feed moves more slowly. So even if you play a giant ass map like Piccadilly, you can still hit clips. Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me. Wow, what? Oh, he was in the middle with a silence gun. Great. Let's get these nubs. Come on. Nope. Way back there, head glitching. What the fuck? Pile up, you motherfucker. They're taking all the kills. Sick, you're on the head glitch. Cool. And I'm dead. And it's over. I mean, at least we won that game. I was best on the team. I played really well. 33 to 13 is okay. I mean, I just want to have something to show for, you know? But regardless of the skill-based matchmaking and the kill feed moving by way too quickly, I'm still going to be doing my best to try to hit clips. The grind does not stop, no matter how badly Vaughn wants it to. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video on the Black Ops Cold War beta. But before I end this video, I want to talk to you guys about some limited edition Boost Tober merch. This hoodie I was rocking in this video is designed by Karina. It's a limited edition design for just the month of October. And it's going to be available in these three different designs. It's going to have an original design, just a full art design, and then a simple one as well. So if you want to check out this limited edition Boost Over merch, I'll have a link in the description so you can check it out. And on top of that as well, if you have joined the channel and you're at the Boost Bunglers or the Gods of Quads level, you can actually use a special code to get a huge discount on the merch. So yeah, I'll have a link in the description for joining the channel as well. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more Black Ops Cold War beta videos, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Hey!